Hello all, welcome to part 5 of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain how API is a middleman between front end and back end. So let's get started. So, so far, we have completed these topics in this training series. The first one is what exactly is API? I explained in detail, guys. Without this, you cannot move further. You should not move further, guys. Okay. Then I showed you like how to download, install, restart, and log into the Postman tool so that uh, I can explain and practically demonstrate what exactly is API testing. So, after that, in the last session, in the previous session, I covered what are the different advantages of performing API testing and why we have to perform the API testing in real time. Okay. These are the four topics which were completed so far. Now, the current topic is all about how API is called as a middleman between front end and back end. Okay, let me explain this, explain about this in a detailed manner now. So API is nothing but is a middleman. It's called as a middleman between a front end and back end. So there are different layers of the application. If you talk about different layers of the application, we can categorize them into presentation layer, business layer, and database layer. Okay. What are the different layers of the application? Presentation layer, business layer, and database layer. What are they? Let me draw them. Okay. Let's say this is my laptop. Okay. This is my laptop, whatever you are seeing on the screen. Laptop. Okay. And in the laptop, I generally open a browser. Right. The laptop, I generally open a browser. Okay. In the browser, we'll open application URL. Okay. Any application URL uh, like tutorials, uh, ninja dot com slash demo any application you open and we generally call this as a client also okay so in the browser in one of the browser let's say chrome browser you open this application url and you are performing different activities on this application what happens is a request will be sent to the server guys okay from this browser from this client machine a request will be sent to the server my laptop is in hyderabad okay hyderabad india but the server of this particular application may not be in the same same location. It may be at a different location, a remote location. Let's say this is a server. Whose server? Tutorials Ninja application server. This is Tutorials Ninja app server. Okay, application server. This server, this server machine may not be there in the same location. It may be in Singapore. Okay, it may be in Singapore. So here a request is being sent okay traveling at some kind of traveling is happening here okay so whatever the operations you are doing on this application for each and every operation okay uh, for different operations on this application request will be sent to the server machine this traveling of this request will happen over the internet internet via http or https protocols okay over the web over the internet this request will go so this application server will contain the code related to the application. Okay, whatever the code that is written by the developers for building the application, right? Using some programming languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, etc., PHP, etc. Those code will be there in the application server. Okay, whenever you perform operations on this uh, uh, application by browsing this application URL and uh, when you are whenever you are performing operation here, okay, using the UI of the application. Okay, here you are using the UI. UI application, UI of the application, user interface of the application, UI or UX, you can say user experience also is part of the present. This is a presentation layer, guys. Whatever you are seeing on the page is a presentation layer. Presentation layer, okay, which is my laptop. For example, if I open this application, tutorialsinjacam.com slash demo, this is a presentation layer where you can see the UI and user experience and user interface of this application. This is a presentation layer, okay? This part is the presentation layer. This part is the presentation layer. Whenever you perform operations, for example, if I say HP and click on the search button, the moment I click on the search button here, a request will be sent to the server and the appropriate code, okay? This is a web service, you can say, available over the web, okay? The service or piece of code which is available over the web. Whenever this request, appropriate request, the search but, uh, the searching related request will hit the search related code, which is, a, which is known as web service, okay? Uh, this code will run and it will process guys okay this particular input also will be taken okay so when i give hp here hp will also travel along with this request to this uh, server and uh, uh, hp will be taken and uh, the code will be running along with that hp and now what happens here is here this code will invoke the database 
there will be a database guys okay for every server there will be a database it will be the database so database in the database what will be there data of this particular application will be stored so here the hp related the search term related product will be stored here guys okay it's already stored here okay so uh, if someone searches for hp okay give uh, give them hp laptop okay some hp uh, when when you click on this hp guys you will get some model here hp lp3065 lp3065 it's related like this okay lp 3065 and if there are more hp related products hp hyphen another product may be there some kind of sql query will be run here by this code okay the logic will be written by the developers in such a way that sql query appropriate sql query will be run on this database and the records of different products uh, which which have this hp and the product name will be returned okay the the sql records okay will be returned to the back to the this application server okay and this application server code will process it again and we'll send them back to the okay back to the browser that is a laptop or browser okay yeah. as a response the response the different product details will be sent okay which are matching with this hp term so in the form of html uh, css javascript etc it will be sent okay now the browser of this particular client will understand okay will convert this html css to dom and then uh, render the page like this okay after clicking on this request will be sent uh, after processing the request uh, database will be hit and the database will give the record of this particular product and that product will be processed properly and the html cs of this product will be sent back and then you know right this particular page will be displayed on the, the moment you click on the search button with hp you will get this okay as a response this is what is happening internally okay this request and response are called as api here in this case, right this is sir api api request and api response since this apis are happening over the web right you can also call them as web service that's okay now here we have one more layer that is this is business layer okay this part is the business layer guys okay where the application logic is written right this layer is called as business layer business layer now the last layer is where the data is stored in the database this is called as database layer this layer is called as a database layer now the thing is now the thing is this business layer and database layer together are called as backend what are they called as backend okay we generally call the combination of business layer and associated database as a backend this red color thing area okay from here to here it is called as a backend from here to here it is called as a backend guys what about front end the presentation layer is called as a front end okay this is a front end guys this part is a front end okay this is a front end presentation layer is called as a front end this is front end where you and ux will be there okay so what about this api api request and response this is the front end this is the back end api is a middleman it's called as a middleman between the front end and back end okay this is what is all about guys okay now let's understand from here so in presentation layer we have the ui and the ux ui stands for user interface ux stands for user experience okay ui and ux okay uh, they both are different guys okay ui means user interface uh, the uh, html code uh, and cs code written for you know right interacting with the different ui elements on the page is user interface ux is all about experience of the user like uh, to improve the experience of the user like uh, we place the uh, ui elements at proper places and uh, you know right uh, okay user should uh, feel good look and feel of the application should feel good and uh, okay and uh, the focus of the of what the user has to do on that play application page should be clear for the user for that user experience is it's a psychology of the user you can say but user interface is all about the creating the elements using the html code css and all but ux is all about the experience it is a psychological factor of the users okay this ui and the ux belongs to the presentation layer which is nothing but front end and business layer and database layer business layer where the actual application logic is written and uh, the data where the data is stored that is database layer okay these two together will call as a back end guys okay who is the middleman between this uh, front end and back end that is presentation layer and the combination of business and uh, database layer which is called as back end api okay api request and responses okay they are the api is the middleman between the front end and back end okay if someone ask you what is an api apart from explaining whatever whatever i have explained or covered in the first uh, uh, 
uh, part of this uh, training series, right? You can also explain at the end saying that in simple terms to conclude, API is a middleman between front end and back end. Front end consists of UI and UX, whereas uh, back end consists of business layer and up database layer, where in business layer, application logic will be created, written by developers, where in database layer, data of the application will be stored, accessed, viewed, and all the stuff, okay? Deleted and et cetera, okay? So hope guys, you understood uh, how API is a middleman between the front end and back end in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another API testing topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.